The first key objective of the operation was to restore law and order. Uh, the detention of uh, Harold Keke and some of his key lieutenants was a key part of that. The other key part of that was to get the guns out of the society, particularly the high-powered military-style weapons that had been stolen from, uh, from armories. Paul Tavoa, who did just an outstanding job, and uh, his group, the National Peace Council, in collecting the guns and getting the message out. We took the decision to actually destroy the firearms, and we destroyed them in front of the people who had actually surrendered them. So it became a um, almost a status symbol to, to not only have a firearm, but to actually surrender a firearm. Sometimes that was done in Honiara, in great big uh, ceremonies, one with the, with the Prime Minister. Uh, often it was done uh, way out, uh, maybe on the weather coast or on, uh, on Malaita. They'd be sawn up, sometimes they'd, uh, they'd be burnt. Uh, and in the end, they were all buried uh, and, uh, and utterly destroyed. Looking back now, uh, with the benefit of history, we can see that by far the vast, vast, overwhelming majority of firearms which have been collected in the whole time of uh, Ramsey's presence in the Solomon Islands, the overwhelming majority of those firearms were handed in during that 21-day amnesty period.